What if I told you that this drone has a DHCP server running on it? Well, uh, like any other IoT device, it interfaces with a network just like a typical computer would. Uh, the reason that we call it an IoT device or an Internet of Things device is because we wouldn't expect it to connect to the network. Examples of some IoT devices are teddy bears, coffee machines and coffee makers, refrigerators, you name it, cars now. You know, we have the Teslas. Those are IoT devices because they're connected um, and they have an IP address, right? And they can be reached over a network. So uh, another thing to think about, uh, referencing an older lesson, we, we were talking about how clients and servers are really not defined by the hardware, but by the software functionality, meaning this drone actually, it can receive commands, but it can also deliver and service requests. Meaning, like I mentioned, the DHCP server running on this leases out IP addresses to any device that can connect to it. So as soon as you power this up, you'll notice that blinking orange light. What that means is that it's waiting for a connection. And um, as it's waiting for a connection, it's actually broadcasted a, a SSID or wireless network name out there for us to connect to. So I'm going to show you this. But before, I'd like to show you, opening up command prompt, that um, when you are not connected to a network, you actually don't get an IP address. <laughs> so your, the IP address that you would find yourself getting, typically, um, let's say this system was trying to connect via wireless and I did deactivate the wireless interface, it would get what's called an APIPA address or an automatic private IP address and that is typically starting with the number 169. So anytime you see that number, that is normally a number, an IP address that the computer gives itself um, to make up for not having a DHCP server on the network. So if you had a wired in connection, you would likely see that. In this case, I'm gonna open up an app I found on the Windows App Store. And by the way, this is a Tello drone. And it has a software development kit that allows us to do all kinds of things with it. I've noticed out there on YouTube, uh, some people have written machine learning tools for it, like object recognition and facial recognition, as well as object detection, so I can follow people around. But right now, I'm just going to show you how it's a DHCP server, and maybe we can take it off and fly it. So I, I've got an app got from the Windows Store, which I'm sure they use the, the software development kit. To, to make this app, it's called Drone, and I'm gonna open it, and it's automatically gonna search using my wireless uh, NIC on my laptop and look for this connected with SSID. Tello. As you can see, it's connected with the drone. Uh, it can give me some indicators there, you'll notice it, you know, temperature, um, speed, battery, and the battery's up at the top here. The battery on these dies relatively quickly, but it, it's decent. You get a couple batteries and it'll, it'll go. You see that this software, though, allows me to see through the lens of the camera. And now that I'm connected to it, that shows that just like with VNC, we're on the same network. So let's look at this. I'm opening up command prompt, and we're gonna, I'm gonna press up. Up is our friend because it gives us you know, the last command we typed and I hit enter. And look, I've got an IP address on the 192.168.10 network, which means that this is the address that it, or address pool that it's leasing out. Um, this isn't gonna connect me to the internet or anything, but it does allow me to control it wirelessly. So let's, let's go ahead and uh, I'll show you how to take this off. So I'm gonna go ahead and go over here, put it on the ground. should see my feet and we will lift it off so you see the button right here in the top should allow me to take it off oh actually this one so I'm gonna get please wait for your operation until on standby tello has got on standby here you go
cool. I'll see you in the next video.